I'm Matt Evers, a professional skater and lover of winter sports. Now the highlight for anyone passionate about winter sports has to be the Winter Olympics. It is a 17-day, action-packed, adrenaline-fueled competition. But you don't have to be an Olympic hopeful to get a taste for the ice and snow. I'm in Val Turenne in the Savoie Mont Blanc region of the French Alps. Now for anyone that loves a bit of skiing action, this is an incredible playground with links to over 600 kilometers of pistes. The Winter Olympics are dominated by skiing with seven of the 15 sport disciplines being contested on skis. These days, skiers can reach dizzying speeds, but it wasn't always that way. Around 7,000 years ago, the first crude skis were created by Scandinavian hunters and soldiers to navigate across snow-covered countryside. By the 1800s, this survival tool evolved into a downhill activity that is enjoyed by millions of people all across the globe. 400 million ski passes are sold every year, and despite the risks, downhill runs have proven to be the most popular ski recreation. It's so familiar, in fact, that it's easy to forget how technically challenging this professional sport really is. To become a top skier, you must begin very young. And after a while, it's a combination of different elements. You must have a top mental. You must be in a physical shape. You must have a fantastic uh, technique. And you must train a lot. The pros may make it seem effortless, but imagine trying to keep control when hurtling down the piste at over 80 miles an hour. This is the goal for downhill and supergiant, otherwise known as Super G, slalom skiers, who navigate through gates to see who can reach the end of the slope in the fastest time. To raise those top speed, it's, uh, it's a great, it's an amazing feeling because you can go uh, as fast as you want. Sometimes you're 140, 150 kilometers per hour, so it's really fast. <laughs> the trees are really going fast uh, on the side of you and you, sometimes you jump 60, 80 meters, so it's like flight. It's, uh, it's crazy, but it's really good because you're all on the slope, you feel really free. There are slower speed slalom events, but even in these, competitors top out at over 50 miles an hour. Then the focus is more on control and technique to make the tighter turns. This truly is knee-crunching stuff. There is only so much protective gear can do when meeting solid ground at these incredible speeds. So runs for slalom and downhill are carefully constructed to keep the skiers safe. As you can see, the run is quite smooth. And the people behind me here are actually just inspecting the course for any debris. Because if you can imagine a skier hitting a rock or a branch at these incredible speeds, it would spell disaster. And just over in the distance, those safety nets, they're called spill zones. And they catch any fallen competitors. Each race is very specific. The weather is specific. The condition of snow are specific. The race, the run is specific. It's a question of adaptation, motivation, and the willing of winning. <laughs> All right, well, I think these runs are a notch or two above what I'm comfortable with. Tempting though it is, I think I shall leave it to the pros. I need a drink. I'm off to the bar.